Okay, in this example, we've got a couple of basic trigonometric equations to solve. Starting off in part A, we have 2 sine x plus 3 equals 4. And we need to solve it in the region 0 is less than x is less than 360 degrees. So to start with, I'm going to take the original equation and I'm going to rearrange to isolate sine x. So I'm going to subtract 3. and then divide both sides by 2. Once we get to sine x equals a half, we could use a calculator to do inverse sine of a half, but if you know your exact values well enough, you'll know that x would have to equal 30 degrees. Next up, we should check if this equation has any other solutions. We saw in a previous video that equations like this will usually have two solutions within any 360 degree region. So let's try and apply the symmetry property. On the right is the graph of y equals sine x. Our solution of 30 degrees is somewhere around here. And we can see that we will have a second solution, the other side of 90. And the rule we would use to get that is the second solution equals 180 minus the first solution. As you get more confident with these equations, you don't really need to refer to the graphs as much. If you just know the rule, you can just apply it. So here we're applying the symmetry property. And if our first solution is 30, we do 180 minus 30 to get 150 for the second solution. For part B, we have 5 cos x equals 4. And we have the same region, 0 is less than x is less than 360 degrees. First of all, we'll divide both sides by 5 to get cos x equals 4 fifths. This time, though, we need to use our calculator to find out the first solution. We do inverse cos of 4 fifths. And rounding to three significant figures, we get x equals 36.9 degrees. Next up, we'll use the symmetry property to get a second solution. Looking at the graph of y equals cos x, if our first solution is about 36.9 degrees, we can go across on the graph and find a second solution, which we can get by doing 360 minus the first solution. Be careful here though, because we're not going to do 360 minus 36.9 because there's a potential to introduce a rounding error. Instead, we're going to do 360 minus the exact value that we got for the first solution. And that gives us 323 if we round to three significant figures. So our strategy for answering questions like this, first of all, rearrange to get sine, cos or even tan on its own. Then use your inverse trig function to get a first solution. And then use the symmetry property to get a second solution if there is one within the region you're interested in. Okay, here's a problem for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video to have a go and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. If you got it right, well done. If you didn't, I'm gonna go through how I got my solution now. So to begin with, we want to rearrange to get cos x on its own. To do that, I'll add five to both sides, giving me root two cos x equals one, and then dividing through by root two gives me cos x equals one over root two. You can either do inverse cos of one over root two, or you can spot the exact value for the answer is x equals 45 degrees. Then we need to use the symmetry property to check for a second solution. Here's the graph of cosine. If we have one solution at 45 degrees, we can see that we get another one on the other side of the graph over here. To get that, we do 360 minus the first one, which gives us 315 degrees. For part B, we've got 2 fifths sine x equals 1 sixth. We'll multiply both sides by 5 and divide both sides by 2. That gives us sine x equals 5 twelfths. 
we use our calculator to do inverse sine of 5 twelfths. And that gives us x equals 24.6 if we round to three significant figures. We use the symmetry property to find a second solution. Taking a look at the graph, if our first solution is around 24.6, we're going to get a second solution close to 180. And we get that solution by doing 180 minus 24.6. And if we do that and round to three significant figures, we get 155 degrees.